Nothing is more annoying to me than a loud computer. So here are 10 tips to get that silent gaming experience. The first and perhaps most important aspect is cleanliness. A clean PC is usually a quiet one. Cooling is a struggle between temperatures and noise. Get temps lower and you get the noise lower. Minimizing cable clutter doesn't have much of an influence on temperatures, but the less cables you get inside your case, the less turbulence and therefore less noise there will be. Less fans is better. People often make the mistake of running as many fans as they can possibly cram into their system. The key here is to find the right balance between the amount of fans and the speeds they have to run at to keep your system from overheating. In order to achieve this, you can either spend big on expensive fans or just be clever with the gear that you have. Air that goes in must also come out. Try to set up your fans so that all air moves in a straight line. Bottom to top, front to rear or even inverted versions of this are great. Just don't have opposing fans or obstructions to the flow. The easier the air flows, the less hard your fans need to work and the quieter your system will be. Most motherboards, graphics cards and even cases have fan controllers. Go into your BIOS or GPU software and create a custom profile. PC components can take 70 degrees Celsius easily, so make a profile that uses minimal fan speed while idling or doing light gaming. Other than fans, your PC has moving parts like hard drives and optical drives. Make sure these are not spinning when you don't use them. To put a hard drive to sleep, simply select this option in the energy settings and to avoid annoying optical drive spin-ups, take the disc out or just remove the drive altogether. Where you put your PC can have a great impact on perceived noise. Make sure intakes and exhausts are completely unobstructed and move the system as far away from your ears as you can. Unless if you want to show off, of course. The stronger your case is, the more quiet it'll be. Avoid rattling plastic panels or cases with two tin metal panels. I found my in-ring cases made of very thick steel are more quiet than thinner cases with sound deadening. If your fans come with vibration cancelling rings or mounts, use them. The same goes for installing power supplies and hard drives. And if your case does not have these rubber washers, why not make some yourself from rubber sheets or even an old mouse pad? While it's awesome to list 5 plus gigahertz overclocks in your signature on your favorite forum, do you really need those 2 or 300 extra megahertz? Lowering your clock speeds a little can come with huge voltage and therefore temperature reductions. And as you should know by now, less heat equals less noise. So there you go, 10 top tips to get your PC inaudible. If you're going to use any of these, please press that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more of my videos. They go live every Friday at 7 Central European time. And if you want to follow or support the channel even more, there is Facebook, Twitter, Patreon and PayPal all linked in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week, hopefully when it isn't too hot to be on camera.